Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. It's the last day of this week that we will be together. We only have a three-day weekend, but it's Thursday, and we are going to do our morning stretches um, one more time together this week. Today, we're going to be talking about symmetry. So we're going to think about symmetry as we do our stretches. So if you think about a center line, a midline going all the way through our bodies from our head to our feet, we're pretty much symmetrical, right? One eye on each side, one arm on each side, one leg on each side. If you drew a line right down the middle of your body, it's going to be pretty symmetrical. And we're going to do our stretches focusing on crossing that midline, crossing that line of symmetry, okay? Take your right foot and we're going to cross over that middle line. Make sure that everything you're doing, we're crossing over that middle line. So we're going to kick. Good. Now we're going to punch across the middle line. So not straight out, not out to the side like this. Go across this midline. So do some punches. Make sure you don't hit anything. Make sure you don't hit anyone. Very good. Now we're going to cross this right arm over to our left shoulder. Give a little squeeze and hold it. Hold that squeeze. Good. Now cross over with your left arm to your right shoulder and squeeze. Very good. Now we're going to cross our right foot over to the left and just stand nice and still and take a deep breath. your left foot and cross over your right. Nice deep breath. Very good. Now we're going to take our right elbow to our left knee. So we're going to have to cross over. We're going to have to cross over. Now try it with your left to your right. And try a couple of those. Cross over. Very good. All right, so we'll talk later on today about our line of symmetry, okay? So now we'll do a little bit of calendar time and a little bit of story time and then you'll be ready to start um, with your day. Very good. <clears throat> Let's look at our calendar. Hmm. What date am I looking for? If yesterday was the 8th, what am I looking for now? Do you know? Is it the 23rd? That's not it. Is it the 11th? No. The 12th? No. 18th? No. 15th? 19th? I know it's in here. I saw it earlier. Ah, here we go. The 9th. Today is Thursday the 9th. Okay. And while we're here, we'll go ahead and finish out the calendar for this time that we're going to be apart for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So Thursday the 9th, Friday the 10th, Saturday the 11th, and Sunday the 12th. Okay, and then we'll be back together again on Monday the 13th. Okay, so today's date is April 9th, Thursday, April 9th. And what we're gonna talk about today, yesterday um, we talked about Passover. Today we're gonna to talk about Easter. So we are going to change our Sunday the 12th to Easter. Um, I looked through our basket of little um, symbols and I didn't have one for Passover. So perhaps that's something that um, over the summer I can make for next year or maybe one of you guys want to make one. Um, but we could use one of our little daily symbols um, for Passover. But so today we're going to talk about Easter. <clears throat> so that means that Friday the 10th um, is what's known as Good Friday. So 
Um, Christians celebrate on the 10th, um, the day of the crucifixion. And then Sunday um, in the Christian faith is known um, as Easter or Resurrection Sunday. So we'll be talking about Easter today. We'll be talking about ways that you guys may celebrate Easter. If you celebrate Easter, things that you may um, do in your family. And also um, doing a lot of work with eggs today. Today we are going to do um, all kinds of math and language lessons revolving around eggs. Because some of you guys this weekend um, may be decorating some Easter eggs. So this book is old and worn out, but I still love it. It's one of the golden books. Um, you guys may have these little golden books um, in your house, but this one is called The Egg Book, The Golden Egg Book. And I just love the illustrations in here. Once there was a little bunny. He was all alone. One day he found an egg and he could hear something moving inside the egg. What was it? And look at these illustrations. Aren't these just beautiful? You see the dandelions, the strawberries up here. Mm. So what do you think might be inside the egg? He hears something. Mm. Maybe a little boy. Maybe an elephant. Maybe another bunny. Maybe a mouse. Who could tell <clears throat> what he would find and how would a little bunny know? but there was something inside that egg. So learning what we have learned the last um, week or so about mammals, could it be a boy or a rabbit or an elephant or a mouse? Those are all four mammals. Would they be inside an egg? No, but the bunny doesn't know that. <clears throat> he could hear something moving, he shook it. Then the bunny Pushed the egg with his foot. He jumped on top of the egg. He's really curious, isn't he? he? Wants to know what's in that egg. He climbed a tree and threw nuts at it. He rolled the egg down a hill, but the egg shell didn't break and whatever was in the egg didn't come out. What do you guys think about throwing nuts at it and rolling it around? He is certainly not being gentle with the egg, is he? So the bunny threw a rock at the egg, but because he was only a little bunny, it was a very little rock and he didn't throw it very hard and the egg didn't break. Pick, pick, pick. Something was trying to get out of the egg. The bunny sat very still and watched through his shining eyes. See the egg nestled here in the plants? you guys think it's in there? Something's going big, big, big inside. He sat very still and listened with his big, soft ears. Pick, pick, pick. Then the little bunny began to yawn. What does that mean if he's like, oh, he's beginning to yawn. And he yawned, and he yawned. The egg was very quiet. How is the bunny feeling? Can you tell by looking at the pictures? I think he's feeling tired, maybe a little bored waiting on the egg to hatch. He curled up all sleepy and warm close to the egg and went to sleep. He went to sleep because he was so sleepy. Then pick, pick, pick and peck, peck, peck and crackety crack out jumped a little yellow duck. Is that not the cutest thing that you have ever seen? I love these illustrations, the little bunny and the little duck. That's so cute. Well, what is this? Said the little duck when he saw the bunny. What could this little fur thing be? The bunny was very sleepy, so he was still asleep and didn't wake up. So now the duck, the little baby duckling is out of the egg he finds the bunny. He's like, what's this thing? Mm. Inside the egg, said the duck, I thought I was all alone in a small, dark world. Now I find myself alone with the bunny in a big, bright world, and the bunny won't wake up. So 
see this shows how he was curled up nice and tight in the egg. Now he's out here with the bunny. So the duck pushed the bunny with his foot and jumped on top of him and threw a little rock at him. So he's doing all the same things to the bunny. Neither one of them are very gentle, are they? <laughs> and rolled him down a hill and the bunny woke up. Where's my egg? Said the bunny. And where did you come from? Never mind that, said the duck. Here I am. So the bunny and the duck were friends and no one was ever alone again. So the little bunny now has a little buddy. So today, um, I hope you guys enjoy all the works that we're going to do with eggs and symmetry and um, just all kinds of fun um, egg and Easter themed um, works. So we will not have school tomorrow. Um, and there's the weekend. So I will see you guys back on Monday. For all of you that are celebrating Easter, I hope you have um, a wonderful Easter weekend and I will talk to you next week.